Here it is, here's the little pepper plant. Um, this is, I don't know if it's the lemon jalapeno or a lemon spice, holy crap, I got like 15 mosquitoes on me right now. It's ridiculous out here. Um, as you can see, it grows little jalapenos and when they're ripe, these ones are were really young, so they're not quite all the way there, but they're also very small. Um, they'll be a little bit bigger as they get a little bit more mature, but this is it. And I'm gonna look into the name I'll post it here because there's a couple different varieties of lemon type peppers. Um, I know it's like lemon drop, there's a lemon jalapeno, lemon spice something or another. So I'll figure out which one this was and post it. Here's this little pepper. And I tried one of these the other day. I'm gonna try again right now. Um, it actually starts off very subtle. There's a little bit of heat that creeps up. I think for most, the heat would be higher than what I'm feeling. But there's also a sweetness and, and a tartness, almost like a, almost tropical, I wanna say. It's actually really good. I mean, I like all kinds of peppers and jalapenos are great. I love to eat them and cook them in different ways. Um, so if you like hot, but not like super hot, um, I would definitely recommend this one. Again, I'll, I'll pop the name on it once I get that figured out. But yeah, there's a definite sweetness and a tartness to it. Especially the further into the pepper that you go as you get toward more toward the top. Um, there is some spice, nothing terrible, I'm not making my eyes water or anything like that, but it's very good. Um, I would definitely prefer this to a regular jalapeno. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that research and get that name and, and see it. One thing I want to point out that I'll have to point out in any video I do about the peppers, I guess, is that, um, it is very important they're getting adequate sun. Um, my understanding they could take our full sun here in Arizona, probably with some afternoon, little filtered afternoon sun would be best because I noticed my first year growing them, they did wilt out during the hardest part of, hottest part of the day. And then they'd kind of pop back to life once they started getting some shade. So I'm sure some, some little shade in the, um, deepest part of the afternoon would be helpful, but I'll go ahead and show you the plant again real quick. So this is one that I had grown from, from seed. Um, I have a lot more that I want to do and it's actually now the time to start getting them going inside. But I have a number of, of pepper plants. Um, unfortunately, most of them are unknown because they weren't properly tagged at the time, uh, such as this one. Um, but the good news is these ones that are unknown are the hotter varieties that I'm looking for. Um, I just don't know which ones until they start to come in. Um, but there's one down here, you can see how small it is, and they've all been in about the same time, but you can see the differences in size. So this one starts here, and it actually is branched up because this is where it gets a ray of sunlight coming in on this, and it's doing the same thing. It's actually reaching over, and that extension is part of this plant. Um, this is a fury or fiery jalapeno. Um, they're just smaller jalapenos. Sometimes they're yellow, red, whatever. They're okay. Um, it's just one of the first things they put in. This here used to be a jalapeno plant. Not this particular plant, but there was one there. I had forgotten that I had ever changed it out and thought it was still the jalapeno. Um, it's got a lot of new growth this year because it's, it's getting the most sun. So during the morning and early afternoon, the sun is coming down from up in that direction and it's getting onto that plant, which is allowing it to really start to thrive. Whereas this one is reaching out and this one here doesn't really get much. That's why it is still about the same size. You can see that it is flowering, but I don't really see any peppers set on it yet. Um, and then the same thing here, this one gets a little bit of light, but it is very shaded and it's gonna continue to be even more shaded as this Jamaican cherry has now started to wake up. Um, it woke up a little bit late this year, but it woke up with a temper tantrum of iron deficiency. And so all the really nice green leaves that you see on it are just actually brand new. I had to treat it for the iron 
and so it's starting to get healthy. It is producing flowers. It is setting fruit. You can see some of them on there. There's one right here. Um, there's a bunch up in here. Um, but this tree is going to start to now fill out very quickly and shade this area. And it's going to remove any light that this one here is getting. So that may impact my, my harvest, but I'm glad I at least got one and got to taste it. Um, if that problem persists, what I might do is try and transplant this one during the winter. Um, just so I can give it a fair, fair shot. Uh, cause everything around it is growing. Um, but yeah, so... There's that pepper, and then I'll just show you on this one here um, that I thought was still helping. You'll realize it's not. The reason I realize it's not is because I found I got a pepper growing here. Um, kind of looked like a habanero, but I knew I didn't put a habanero here. Look on the bottom, it looks to be developing a little tail. Um, so I thought maybe this could be the um, chocolate uh, scorpion that I had planted. Um, I did find a little tag in the dirt somewhere in this area underneath that says red ghost, paper, red ghost pepper. So this could actually be a ghost pepper plant. We'll see. It's really going to be a gamble. It could be anything. I know when I, when I did the start of the peppers, I went crazy on. I got 20 something, maybe 25 varieties. Death Spiral, um, the Naga Viper, Seven Pot. Um, the Reaper, um, Chocolate Trinidad Scorpion, uh, many, the Lemon Drop, the Lemon Jalapeno, um, uh, Chiltepins, all different kinds of ones. So, and I, and I never got any of them going just due to some setbacks I had in life. So I'm looking, as I said right now, to actually set up my indoor little grow just for peppers i'm gonna have to keep myself in check and uh just get some more of the peppers going because especially the one i really want is a scotch bonnet it's not that it's the hottest or anything but i love caribbean jamaican food and uh scotch bonnet is a pepper that they use uh for those and so um i want to be able to use that to make a caribbean hot sauce um i made one a couple years ago and it was really good and I want to be able to grow my own stuff and do that again so um I'll do another couple updates on which varieties I guess I decide to go with and um document that that journey um if I can show you one the one other pepper plant that I have right now that I'm hopeful for is going to be the Carolina Reaper and the reason that I'm more hopeful for it than the others is the location it is right here where are you? <laughs> there it is. Um, which gets really great sun. I mean, this area that I'm in now isn't ever really going to have a full canopy. Um, this mulberry, the, um, I don't know, brain fart. Uh, not the peck, it's the Shangri-La mulberry. Um, you can see it'll, it'll be, I'm going to let it get to about the size of this one, which is the uh, Morris Albus. And... So it'll have somewhat of a little canopy above me, but I'm not going to let it do much. Um, reason being, I need full sun on a lot of this stuff over here. Um, this is all full sun plants. I have my citrus. This is my improved Myers lemon, my grapes, my mulberry. I have a peach here. There's a mango in there. There's a sweet almond bush here. Um, all of these want the sun. Um, and as well as as well does as this reaper um but it's actually doing really well it was pretty pretty small for a long time as we started to warm up now it actually looks really healthy so let me just show you that especially considering guys these little mother cluckers right here um when they do come out to free range um they immediately go for this plant and my little uh, clover down there um, and they'll demolish it. So they've done that many times. So the plant has had to uh, expel some energy to reestablish itself, but it does really well at that. Um, they actually just did that about a week ago and you can see already, um, you can see where some of the damage is, but they've, it's pretty much reestablished itself um, and it's putting off new flowers because they ate them all off. So we have some in here, we have new buds coming in there um, and all the ones down here, they had already eaten off. So it'll push out some more, but it's it's determined to um, to produce, and I know it's going to, 
and it gets a really healthy amount of light and the plant is growing the way that I want to see the peppers grow. So it's not growing too fast. It's not getting tall and leggy, reaching for the light like the ones over in that area. Um, it's growing at a steady pace. Um, you know, height wise, it's, it's taking its time, but that's okay because the stems are nice and thick. And so when they do start to produce the peppers, it'll be able to support the weight of that. What you don't want to see when you're growing the peppers is that they're just growing at a very quick rate. Um, and then when it starts to produce peppers, everything's just falling over. So this is gonna be great. Um, I do get, you can see here's the canopy here. I do get some filtered sun, a lot of it in the afternoon right here in this spot. And so I think this will be where I put another pepper. I'm not sure yet as to which one, but that's what's going to go there. And then we'll determine where in the yard um, I can go ahead and put my new peppers that will be coming out here. Um, hopefully within the next few months or so, or in the fall. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on in this garden uh, with, my, with my peppers and, and where I'm at. So if you're growing peppers, share with me and let me know what you got growing on as far as your peppers. What's your favorite pepper uh, to eat? What's your favorite pepper to grow? Why? Um, and do you have any recommendations for me from what you saw? I know you haven't seen maybe my whole yard or no, you know, the whole setup and you might see these and think, well, it's just obviously clearly too much shade, but let me know. Um, I love to make new relationships and acquaintances and get different feedback and do, um, you know, different things, build relationships with other people that have similar interests as I do and be able to learn from those of you who've been doing it longer than I have. So, um, especially my fellow hotheads, hit me up, let me know. All right, I gotta go. Bye.